all this anger coming from, this uh, this controversy? What stirs all this up? You know what? I just think that um, it's discrimination. It's women discrimination, first of all. It's discrimination for their boat. And uh, it's just not right. It's a free country, right? That's why I thought when I came in here, so it's a free country. So we're not even, on, when we're on the dock, we're not even walking wearing our bikinis. We're fully dressed. I mean, not fully dressed. Like shorts and tank tops. Well, our next step is we've got a legal team coming in out of Georgia. A four attorneys, they're coming in. They're, they've been monitoring everything. Um, they think that they have a pretty cut and clear case of discrimination. Um, but, you know, we're, we're still going on with business. Uh, we're not going to let a little bump in the road somebody who refuses to come into the 21st century um, and get in with the times. We're not going to let that little bump in the road stop our business. We're going to keep rolling with it. What, what was your first impression of the whole thing? I thought it was a good idea. It was something different. And I thought it would bring a lot of clientele because a lot of guys, they love being around pretty girls. You know, let's face it, it's South Florida. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of people come down here to fish and see pretty girls. So I thought it was, you know, fun. Some way to make some extra money. And I thought it was a good idea. So I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. Whatever you're ready. How many have you been on? Um, it's been quite a few. I don't know, like five, ten, maybe. And out of those, how many are actually topless? Uh, I've got to take my top once for maybe half an hour. So I always say in my bikini. You hear good reviews from the people, the customers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, there are actually some.